Yeah. Um, so if you're wondering if I'm going to sit on the stool for this, I ain't. I just don't have the courage to. So uh, this, I think, came out, yeah, two days. This actually came out yesterday, to my surprise, the, a new trailer for Free Guy. And um, I've been very busy with a lot of stuff. And, you know, there's still a lot going in my personal life that I just, um, like, yeah. But, um, uh, you know, was, you know, that doesn't, you know, mean I don't want to do stuff, reaction videos for you guys. But, yeah. Uh, so Free Guy, of course, um, one of the many movies affected by the pandemic. You know, it was supposed to come out in May of last year. Then it was switched around to December of last year, and now it's switched to August. Uh, this No, before that, it was May 2021, and now it's August 2021 that it's coming out. But at least it's coming out in, I think now, with, you know, movie theaters, they are going back to normal, so that's a plus. Um, but from what I know, Free Guy and Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings will have a sort of 45-day exclusive theatrical window, and then I think they end up on streaming. I do not know for sure. I'll have to look it up. But nonetheless, I am excited for Free Guy. Ryan Reynolds is hit or miss when it comes to some of his movies. But I think more recent. But, you know, hey, that doesn't mean I'm interested in this movie. But, yeah, let's just uh, let's just press play here. My name is Guy. Sunday should be warm and sunny. Just a scattering of drive-by. And I live in paradise. <laughs> I've got a best friend. This is the greatest cup of coffee of all time. Uh oh! Mondays, am I right, Joe? You said it, guy. Yeah! And I work at the bank. Everybody's out of the bank! I thought I had everything I needed. But then I met her. Everybody down on the ground. Everybody except you. Me? It's just a. Oh, please, I have a cold fist. There's something inside you, guy. I don't want something inside me. They expected you to just follow the rules, but you are so much more than that. Put these on. Okay. Oh my god! What are these trick glasses or something? Guy, there is no easy way to say this. This world, uh, it's a video game. You're not real. We sat my What? Video oh. game. You're not real. We sat my And the guy responsible for this world is going to destroy it. You've met God? Yes, he's an absolute troll. Trolls exist. Uh, hold on. Buddy, uh, you met God? Watch. Yes, he's an absolute troll. Trolls exist. Buddy, if we're not real, doesn't that mean that nothing you do matters? I am sitting here with my best friend trying to help him get through a tough time. Now, if that's not real, I don't know what well. is. I know this world is just a game, but this place, these people, that's all I have. So I'm not going to be the good guy. Thanks, guy. I'm going to be the great guy. Well, enjoy your lifetime supply of virginity. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> this whole good guy routine is ruining the game. Woo! Terminator. It's the first time I've ever driven a car before. I really wish you'd mention that. Yeah. Yeah. Why? That actually hurt my hand. We can save our world. But we have to fight together. I don't know what's happening right now, but I love it. Time's up, bank teller. Nope. I can't die. I'm never gonna die. <laughs> okay, that that got me. That was hilarious. I, I will say that. I always got these making of videos. Yeah, it's ironic that after I react to a video, they still keep recommending the same video every time. Yeah, YouTube, something's wrong with you. But yeah, um, let me see if it, it, it will. Because, like I mentioned, there's the 45 day theatrical window. Let's see. Oh, free guy. And on, I heard a similar report that, yeah, right here, the Diz Insider, which is kind of the inside information for anything that's on Disney. Um, let me see if I, uh, let me even look up, uh, 
I mean, that's pretty good so far, in my opinion. Um, let's see. Uh, free guy. I am deep. Yeah, free guy. And I will say that I am glad to see uh Sean Levy finally going back to directing a movie, though, because um. Let's see, Antoine. Let's see. Um, it's interesting. Oh, uh, Hugh Jackman and uh, Dwayne, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, Tina Fey, and John Krasinski are to have cameos in the movie as well. That's awesome, right there. And of course, the Alex Trebek cameo, which was in the last trailer. Which I, I, I how old was he? How old was Alex Trebek? Um. You know, just uh, a national treasure overall. So, um, what can I hear? He died at 80 years old. For me, that's still too soon. Yeah, I haven't really seen Jeopardy since his passing. Uh, yeah, produced by Sean Levy and Ryan Reynolds. That's actually the thing is uh, Ryan Reynolds is producing this through his production company, Maximum Effort, and 21 Laps, which is the which is the production company that's owned by Sean Levy. Yeah. Filmed in Boston and I think finished July. Let's see. In the film studio room of the film with that. I'll. Yeah. I'm actually going to look up some fun stuff here, actually. You always get these. Hmm. I got a notification from Chad. Uh, hat guy. All right. So it's. Oh, it's PG 13, which uh, I understand some people could probably be angry at that, but. Theaters exclusively today during. All right, maybe I must have confused. Would get a simultaneous release. It will also reveal the long waited will be the first set of the studios and films. All right, here's what it says. Um, you know, in addition to the announcement that Jungle Cruise would get a simultaneous release in theaters and on Disney Plus, it was also revealed that the long awaited Ryan Reynolds comedy Free Guy and Marvel Shang Chi would be the first set of the studios' films to ooh, exclusive theatrical releases. Following the Paramount Plus model, though, both films will remain in theaters for 45 days before going straight to streaming. To clear for free after 45 days, or both will go to Disney Plus. There's a possibility Free Guy could wind up at Hulu. Should they go to Disney Plus, though, it's also unclear if they might be only be available via Premier Access. So, apparently it might land after 45 days. However, it's still unclear if they're going to have Premier Access. For it, which I'm hoping not, but I think 45 days is just enough to see if both movies make a profit. Um, let me look at look at Sean Levy's filmography. Like his last time he directed something, it was in 2014. And it was both uh, "This Is Where I Leave You," which was a very great movie, "Night at the Museum: Secret of the Tomb," uh, which was, in my opinion, the weakest of the three Night at the Museum films, and it looks like. Because in recent memory, he's been spending more time as a producer trying to help filmmakers get their movies made and shows made. Like uh, Arrival, for example, uh, Love and Monsters, and uh, Television uh, with um, Stranger Things, of which he's uh, directed six episodes so far. Two episodes for each season. And then uh, also uh, Shadow and Bone. That was an awesome show. I really enjoyed that show. Um, also, I am hoping it, I will say this, if there's no Sean Levy cameo in this movie, like, Sean Levy does not play the role of, like, a gamer or, like, a reporter or something, I'm gonna, yeah, cause, uh, like, Sean Levy has this tendency to cameo in his movies, and he also had a cameo in Stranger Things, if I remember, as the morgue worker in, uh, chapter four, The Body, season one, chapter four, and I see, I am not okay with this, Dash and Lily, and of course, uh, internship guy in nap pod. Oh God! But yeah, uh, career. Uh, there's also it, it looks like he's reuniting again with Ryan Reynolds for um a new movie called The Adam Project, which is set to be um a net uh, released on Netflix, and I think Ryan Reynolds is also producing this one as well. Let's see. Uh, Ryan Ga Ryan Reynolds, Jennifer Garner, Zoe Saldana, Mark Ruffalo, Catherine Keener, 
Did Catherine Keener. Okay, so filming commenced in November 2020, Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh, and it looks like this film was in development hell for quite a while. It was a spec script with T.S. Nolan. Uh, Thomas Scott Nolan was initially announced as Our Name is Adam. Paramount Pictures became interested in acquiring the film. Tom Cruise attached a star. All right, and if I go back, um, Adam, yeah, I'm, I'm going back on Adam Project. Yeah, the Netflix series Shadow and Bone, which is going to have a second season, if I'm not mistaken, it was renewed for a second season, also consisting of eight episodes. I really enjoyed Shadow and Bone, you know, mostly because I, I do like that idea behind, you know, dark fantasy overall. And um, let's see, uh, founded. Um, in 1999, originally known as Woonjo Incorporated, but then it, I think since 2005, it changed to 21 laps. Let me just put this on top of my lap here. Let's see, uh, films. All right, Big Fat Liar, uh, Night at the Museum, What Happens in Vegas, Night at the Museum 2, Date Night, Real Steel, The Spectacular Now, This Is Where I Leave You, Alexander Turtle Horrible. A Arrival, Why Him, Coda Chrome, uh, Love and Monsters. There's someone inside your house. Uh, I know this movie. Um, oh, I think I, I must have. I don't know. I can't remember this, though. Uh, let me just go back here. Uh, let's see. Night at the Museum, Common Raw Rises Again. Oh, it looks like they're doing a, a Night the Museum 4, um, apparently through Dis for Disney+. Plus. So, yeah, that, that's interesting right there. T.S. Nolan, what did he do? Uh, all right, let's see, I'm looking at it. All right, so he wrote all three Maze Runner films, but then he's also written Pacific Rim Uprising. But it looks like Adam Project is being written by three other writers here. All right, Free Guy, rated PG-13, apparently. Rated PG-13. Strong fantasy violence throughout language and crude suggestive references. And, yeah. Looks pretty good so far, still. Um, not gonna lie there. Uh, cool. Let me look at the effects companies, though. Um, I didn't know people were gonna talk about, man, the effects don't work. I mean, the effects look iffy. Uh, but they they look decent enough. Harry Reynolds, Keslow, uh, yeah, um, distributors, special effects. I'm looking at it. So it looks like they're having uh industrial light and magic work on the effects on this, and um, yeah, in fact, uh, three guy in. So I'm looking at it here, um, yeah, Sean Levy, Paulo Acri, yeah, and yeah, oh yeah, uh, Zach Penn, by the way, wrote the script here, uh, Zach Penn, uh, who was, uh, what has he done? Um, I do know he directed the first Avengers film. Yeah, I, I know people are like, no, you're, you're wrong, and I'll be like, am I though? That is, I'd be like, that's the joke. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, one of Sean Levy's daughters apparently has a cameo in this film. That's also another thing that I'm not going to complain about that, though. Um, okay. Um, hold on. Let me just see here what he's also written. All right. Known for... Okay. He wrote X2, X-Men United, Incredible Hulk, the first Avengers film, and Ready Player One. Uh yeah, writer, free guy, Jack Slater, uh, okay, still looking here. Mm -hmm. Behind Enemy Lines as well, and was also, of course, yeah, Last Action Hero, which was one of his first films in the industry. Still here. Um... Oh, here's what's interesting here is uh, the film's uh, special effects supervisor. 
Um, this is interesting here. Uh, Daniel Sudik, who um, you know, nominated for 10 Oscars. Oh, boy, that's a lot. Look at some of the stuff he's done here. Uh, let's see. The Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, Black Panther, and he's also done um, Bad Times at the El Royale, Quiet Place Part 2, uh, and of course he's now done uh, The Suicide Squad, uh, the new one. And what else has he done over the... Yeah, Furious 7, uh, Cowboys and Aliens, the first two Iron Mans, J.I. Joe was a Cobra, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Evan Almighty, Mission Impossible 3, Serenity, War of the Worlds, Master and Commander, Far Side of the World, uh, Mission Impossible 2, and The Negotiator, Executive Decision, Jumanji, and uh, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. That's awesome. Art What's this? Oh, he was also a, a he also was an assistant on the Mosquito Coast. That's a great movie, by the way. And I look at all right. Let's see. Uh, Paulo Acri, associate VFX supervisor. Although I don't think he's the senior VFX supervisor. Um, Yannick Dussault. Um, yeah. Here's the film's the effect supervisor here. Uh, Sven Gil Swen Gilbert. Nominated for one Oscar. Uh, I know uh, it, it's gone off track, but hey, this is my, my channel, so I can do what I want. Yeah, uh, he's also done, he was the additional VFX supervisor on uh, Captain America Civil War, Infinity War, and Endgame. He, was also, he also did uh, Furious 7. Uh, Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb, I think. Uh, Ender's Game, uh, Real Steel, um, G.I. Joe as a Cobra, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, The Day After Tomorrow, We Were Soldiers, A Beautiful Mind, and Hollow Man. That's interesting. So, yeah. Um, and yeah. Also, uh, the film's composer Christoph is uh, Christoph Beck, who did the um, Edge of Tomorrow and both Ambient films. And this is what's exciting right here. Um, no, I don't want contact info. Uh, George Richmond, film's DP. I think I've seen this movie before. This one right here. It's a movie starring uh, Naomi Rapace. I don't know for sure. Um... Checking to see if I have calls here. Uh, yeah, the DP from, yeah, let's see, Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation, uh, additional photographer, camera operator on War Horse, Clash of the Titans, um, and uh, Children of Men, and Alexander, uh, and he's, let's see, what else has he done? Uh, yeah, he's now the DP on Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them 3, and he's also done Rocket Man, Tomb Raider, and uh, both Kingsman movies and Eddie the Eagle. Those were really good uh, movies there. So yeah, and Paula Cree, the VFX supervisor. Uh, let's see, uh, Mission Impossible 8, Free Guy, Coming to America 2, Quiet Place Part 2, Six Underground. Uh, let's see, what else? Kong Skull Island, Force Awakens, Age of Ultron. So yeah, uh, another ILM. I actually worked at MPC at Moving Picture Company before jo joining ILM. So yeah, I'm going to see what we've got here. Got one that... <laughs> actually, let me just see how long we're in this video. Oh my god, you guys can barely see me. I'm sorry, I just... I don't really know when this camera's facing. So, yeah, that looks pretty fun. I I'd definitely go check it out. Um, I wish I could go to a theater to see it, but... Hey, it all depends on the accessibility that I have. Uh, so basically, this movie is just Ryan Reynolds being himself again, huh? Uh, Ryan Reynolds playing the character he plays best. As a GAT enthusiast, finally they moved to an earlier date. Yeah, I could totally see this movie uh, being more like, uh, kind of like Ready Player One meets the Lego movie in many ways. I know the general, it's like, yeah, what if you're the NPC in uh, 
Grand Theft Auto, and you gain consciousness. Consciousness, or it's might be like Truman, even a little bit of Truman Show. I noticed that. That that's interesting right there. So I'm gonna end the video here. This was the Free Guy new trailer, because <laughs> yeah, we've had this trailer before. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link to the original video down below, as well as a link to my Instagram page. Thank you, as always, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I guess the best I'm going to do is uh, wish you all Godspeed. Take care.